Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from Compsci Studio, and welcome back to your 17th, I believe, Java programming tutorial. Let's just check. Yep, 17th. Uh, so yeah, today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna doing we're gonna be doing sorry something similar to an if statement. It's basically another way of doing an if statement. It's called a switch statement. Now, a lot of people don't use it. I'm just doing this tutorial just to show you guys it's out there. You guys can choose to use this one, or you could use the if statement. Personally, I use the if statement every single time, so yeah. Uh, let's learn how to do the switch statement. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a scanner just to get some input from the user. So scanner c is equal to new scanner system dot in. Just import that. Okay, so once we got that imported and instantiated, uh, let's make a variable we'll call it age now we're gonna set this age equal to sc dot next int because we're gonna want it, uh, want the user to input the value into this variable so before this we should actually tell the user to do do that uh, so input your age okay so right now if we ran this <coughs> It'll say input your age, let's say I'm 45, uh, and that's it. So let's make our switch statement here. We're going to want to um, perform an action based on what number they input into the age variable. So in order to make a switch statement, we're going to use the keyword switch. And uh, with a throw down a set of brackets here, and then put in the brackets age. So this is basically saying, okay, this is what I'm going to want to compare, and it's age. So whatever you want to compare, you put in the brackets. So next thing you want to do is uh, do an open curly brace and then close the curly brace. So now we have a switch body right here. Um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a bunch of cases. So our first case is, uh, so we go case one. So basically what this is, is it's, um, so if the user inputs one, I want to do whatever is uh, behind this um, colon. So we're going to ask out. Uh, let's say I am one. And then I'm going to copy this because I'm lazy. So as you can see, I, I've already said this, but this is the first case. So if age was one, it's going to print out I am one. Let's copy this and paste it. So in the second case, so if case, if age is two, then I'm gonna want to say I am two, and so on, so on. You could do as many cases as you want, but uh, you're gonna want to make a default case. So if you have, if you had case one, if they type in one million or something, and you didn't have a case one million, you're gonna want to call the default um, default case. So to do that, you just say default, and then have your colon here, and then s out. I am the default saying. All right, so let's run this puppy, and it says input your age. Let's say I input two. It says, "Oops, my bad." Uh, what you have to do at the end of each of these is you're gonna have to add a break. This basically says, "Okay, um, I've done what I've needed to do in the switch statement. Now I'm gonna get out of it." So once you enter something, it's going to get right out of there. So break all those. All right, let's try it again. Hit two, hit enter, and it says I am two. If you put in one, I am one. Now what if you put in something like, I don't know, let's say that. Oh man. Oh, I can't handle that big of a number, my bad. All right, let's put in something reasonable. It says I am the default saying. And this is because we don't have any case that handles 2345, so it automatically goes to the default and prints it out. So let me go over this one more time just to clarify things. First off, we've made a scanner for user input. We prompted the user to input their age into this variable right here uh, as age. Then we made our switch statement, which is this whole part right here. So basically all it is, it's a keyword switch which has brackets that contains what we want to compare in our switch statement. 
Then in our curly braces, we have each case that we want uh, to compare, basically. So if the age was one, it's gonna print out I am one. If the age was two, it's gonna print out I am two. And if it doesn't find any case that works with the input given, it goes to the default and says, I am the default saying. So that's it for this tutorial. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.